I was 45 when I was diagnosed. I never even knew what a PSA was. I, I didn't know what a prostate was until I got sick. His disease was so aggressive that he failed multiple lines of therapy. Even with all of that, he still has all of the hope in the world. And whenever I meet with him, he always is saying, Doc, I just want to stay alive. My wife, I can't say enough about her. When you talk about the red or worse, rich or poor, you, know, you always think about the good things. You never think about when things, you know, get tough. You know, and she's been there, like, you know, for me every day. I would have chemo on Friday. You're nauseated and, and, and things like that, you know, and she's you know, up taking care of me, you know. You know, get up in the middle of the night, make me a sandwich. And, um, you know, just being there, I can't say enough about my wife. She's just awesome. In the Washington, D.C. VA Medical Center, we serve approximately 118,000 veterans. We have a large number of African Americans in our veteran population here, and we know that African American men have a much higher incidence of prostate cancer, and they are much more likely to die from prostate cancer. The Prostate Cancer Foundation committed to invest $50 million over five years in the VA, an incredibly generous and ambitious undertaking. To be able to work collaboratively with the Prostate Cancer Foundation and actually make a difference in the lives of the veterans we serve, it doesn't get better than that. So the importance of the Edward P. Evans Precision Oncology Center of Excellent Award is that it's going to foster even more collaborations between the DC VA and the George Washington University. I definitely appreciate the VA hospital and all the work that they've done. I can't say where I would be without them. Um, Dr. Krasnow, um, Dr. Jane, you know, they've done, you know, great at keeping me where I need to be as far as my treatments and care. When they're talking about some of these great big hospitals, um, from John Hopkins to um, the United Cancer Center, the VA hospitals are right there, right along with them. I would tell any veteran, all veterans, get yourself checked out and ask for a PSA blood test. The earlier you get it detected, the earlier you can get it treated, it will save your life.